Welcome to TradesViz. In this video, we'll give you a complete walkthrough of the TradesViz interface and also explore a lot of essential journaling features of TradesViz. For this video, we're going to be starting off with the sample trades provided on the TradesViz import page. If this is your first time logging into TradesViz, you will notice that all the charts and tables are empty. That's because we have not yet added or imported any trades. For now, let's add the sample trades by clicking on the Add Sample Trades button at the top right of your dashboard. Note however, that this button is only available if you don't have any trades in your account. Now, we can see that some trades have been added to our account and we can already see the daily profit and loss charts. We can now explore the other sections of the dashboard such as the trades tables, the performance analysis charts, and more. Let's take a look at the trades table first as it's where you will be able to view all your trades. The trades table is probably the most visited and useful section of your trades viz dashboard because it lists all your trades and information regarding your trades. You can even view executions from the trades table view. The table has nearly 30 columns. Based on your preference and the type of trader you are, you can make sure that only the columns that are most important to you are visible by toggling the visibility of the columns. Filtering trades can be a bit tedious if you have many trades. Trades Viz tries to make filtering as simple as possible by providing a set of global toggles you can use. For example, if you want to filter out all multi-day trades, simply click on the filters button on the top right of your dashboard and you can easily toggle between multi or intraday trades. Similarly, if you want to view all your profit and loss numbers inclusive of commissions and fees, click on the net profit option. Once you have set your preferred filters, click on apply and your entire dashboard will be updated automatically with the filters applied. You can do much more fine-grained filtering with the table search feature, but we will explore that in a different video. Now, let's take a look at a particular trade and see what we can do with it. To explore a trade, click on the target icon on the left side of each row in the trades table. For this example, we will be visiting the VEA trade. On the left side of the screen, you will see all the statistics related to the trade such as open and close prices, total duration, and more. The risk statistics are generated based on your input. Let's try adding a sample profit and stop targets. Once they are added, the stats will automatically be refreshed. Moving on, you now have the notes and the tag section. Just like how we edited the risk statistics, you can click on the three dots icon on the top right of each box to edit the contents of the box. Let's enter a comment and a tag for this trade. Do remember that you need to enter a comma symbol after every tag for the tag to be recognized. Once you start adding more tags, the tags input box will automatically suggest tags that you have already added so you don't need to remember all your tags. Up next is the executions table and, below that, you will see containers for charts and for uploading your own images. We will not be exploring chart features as we already have a dedicated video for it which you can find in the description of this video. That's it for the Trade Explore view. Now let's look at some of the other tabs of Trades Viz. The Calendar tab is a very useful tool to know at a glance, how your trading performance has been for a particular month. From this tab, you can easily jump to any trading day. This is just like the Trade Explore view we saw earlier, but instead of focusing on a single trade, here you will see all the trades made on a particular day and like the Trade Explore tab, you can add comments, tags, upload your own images, and even add a stock chart. Finally, we have the Trades Performance Statistics. You will notice a lot of visualizations available in TradesViz. All of these visualizations help you get more insights into your own trading performance from every angle possible. We have another video dedicated to exploring charts and filters so we will not be exploring those features in this video. You can find these links and other additional helpful information in the video description. We will now look at the import page which is where you will start your journey of trade journaling by importing your trades. Importing trades is very simple and also very flexible in TradesViz. Just select your platform, check if the time zone and the currency information are correct, upload your file and click upload. For advanced users who want to fine-tune the trades grouping algorithm can use the advanced settings to experiment with their imports. For example, if you are a very short-term or scalper type trader, you might want each trade to be grouped based on flat positions. If that's the case, then click on Group Executions Based on Flat Positions plus Symbol, Option. 
However, for most traders, we have found that the default settings work the best. If you have any questions on what type of import setting you have to use, please get in touch with us and we will guide you. Next up is the management of imported trades. With TradesViz, unlike other trading journals where you have no record of what you imported or when you imported, all of your data is completely transparent to you and totally under your control. Click on Export Manage and the existing uploads. Now select your trading account and here, you will see a list of all your trading file imports. You can download them for your personal use or you can simply delete them. Since we have only added the default sample import, we can only see one entry. You will start to see more entries here as you import more files. The delete feature is very useful here. If you think a particular import has messed up your trades in any way, then to revert back, all you have to do is to delete the most recent import. We will end this walkthrough by deleting the sample trades. Upon visiting the dashboard, you can see that none of the trades are visible. We hope this walkthrough has been helpful for you to explore some basic features of TradesViz. There are more features that we haven't covered in this video, so we invite you to take a look at our blog posts for more information and an in-depth explanation of all features on TradesViz. Please check the description for the links. Join now, for free at tradesviz.com, and explore your trading edge.